and welcome to the third of our Lenten journey videos. Today we're going to be listening to uh, a difficult passage from Luke's Gospel, um, Luke chapter 13 verses 1 to 9 um, and I'm going to be retelling it from the message version of the Bible but um, so your version might be different when you read it at home. But let's just be still for a moment as we come together with God. Some people came up to Jesus to tell him about the Galileans that Pilate had killed while they were worshipping mixing their blood with the blood of the sacrifices at the altar. But Jesus responded, Do you think that these murdered Galileans were worse sinners than any other Galileans? Not at all. Unless you turn back to God, you too will die. And those 18 people who died in Jerusalem the other day, you know, the ones who were crushed when the Tower of Siloam collapsed and fell on them. Do you think that they were any worse than any other people from Jerusalem? Not at all. Unless you turn to God, you too will die. And then he told them a story. A man had a fig tree planted in his front yard. And he came out expecting to find figs on it. But there weren't any. He said to his gardener, What's going on here? Why are there no figs? For three years now I've come to this tree expecting to find figs. And not one fig have I found. Chop it down. Why waste good ground with it any longer? The gardener said, let's just give it one more year. I'll dig round it and I'll fertilise it and maybe it will produce next year. And if it doesn't, then chop it down. I wonder, I wonder what you liked about that story. I wonder what you thought was the most important part of that story. I wonder what you found hard in that story. It's a difficult story, isn't it? The first part where Jesus doesn't seem to care about those who've been killed. And then the second part where he tells that story and the gardener pleads for the tree to be given one more chance. And I guess they go together in the sense that, well, what Jesus is trying to say is it isn't about not caring when people are killed or when they die because God cares for everyone as it's demonstrated in, this uh, in the story of the tree. We think of God as the gardener, then, then the gardener is trying to give the tree one more chance to produce fruit. And what Jesus is trying to say to the people is that is encouraging them to come close to God, to turn their lives around and worship God. Because if we're, if we're worshipping God, then we are able to have eternal life, our life with God. 
And so I think that's what he's trying to do. But it's quite hard for us to, to get our head around. So if we think about it in those terms, when sad things happen, and sad things do happen all the time, we know that God is with us. Always helping us. A bit like last week when we heard about um, the, the image of God being like the mother hen gathering the chicks to keep them safe under her wing. And so with, with us and with us and God, God cares and loves us deeply. And, what, and even though sometimes bad things happen, God is with us and will help us through them. So I wonder, I wonder how it feels when you're sad and worried to know that God cares, that God loves you, that you're not alone. On your teardrop today, I'm going to invite you to either cut out a picture or um, draw a picture of a tree. It can have lots of leaves, it can have very few leaves. You might want to put some seeds on the ground because that sign of, of new life and care as the gardener nurture, nurtures them to grow and flourish, as God nurtures us to grow and flourish. And then you might want to put some of your worries or concerns or some headlines from this week written down on there as well. So that in amongst all that's going on, in amongst the joy and the sadness, we know that God is with us and we put them on our road to mark the fact that God is with us on our journey. You might want to stick it like that. And then we're going to just light a candle. And let's just think about that story. Think about how it feels that even in the sadness, God is with us. Nurturing us. invite you to say the prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I have made a teardrop to remind me of the sad and bad things in life and to thank you for always being there for me. even when I sometimes forget about you. Amen. Take care. See you next time.